it is fundamentally different from the ways that you build systems using traditional you know, kind of imperative or even um, asynchronous reactive programming models. The, the actor itself, the concept of an actor is really interesting where it's this fundamental building block that you can use to uh, assemble systems. And I've used the analogy of, it's kind of like, you know, you have a simple Lego block that you can use to build things and people build these incredible structures using Lego blocks. It's the same thing with actors. The other thing I like about though is that there's some simple behavioral characteristic of actors that are, again, they're different, but you know, some people say it's hard, but I think people initially think that it's hard because it is different. But the difference is where the fun starts because once you start to wrap your head around how you can take different actors that are working together to solve a problem. To me, it was, I mean, it was like, wow. I just, when I first started uh, understanding the concept of actors and started building systems with actors, it was like, wow, we just solved this problem that I thought would be really hard to solve. And I know it would have been really hard to solve using traditional programming techniques. And here it was easy. And, and I'm talking about things like concurrency, things that would have been very complicated with, say, thread-based programming were uh, trivial with, with actors. And then add into that that you can do things where you're not constrained to a single JVM. You can have actors that are collaborating with each other in a clustered, distributed environment. And my mind was blown. I was just in heaven. And I really was. I mean, it was so much fun to build systems with actors and solve problems that were that I thought would have been so hard to solve and when we when we we came up with solutions it was like oh my god this is such a you know cool solution I can't believe what we're doing here and that's that's the fun part and again it there's this transition that you have to make it's kind of transitioning into actor think but as developers and architects we have to do this all the time we have to kind of wrap our heads around new technologies and there was so much joy for me and when I when I wrapped my head around doing things with actor systems, it just, again, it, it just blew my mind and it was so much fun to build systems also that never failed. That we, you know, we were constantly building a system where we were thinking about, um, you know, failure. And it was just, failure was an architectural feature of our systems. And to be able to build systems where you're you're going, yep, when this fails, this is what we're going to do. And this is how our actors, the actors that we're coding, are going to behave. And then to see that the solutions actually worked was just absolutely incredible. So it, to me, the, the best thing I've ever seen, and I've been doing software development for a very long time, the actor model and building systems with actors is the, honestly the coolest thing I've ever seen. So with cloud native applications, the challenge is that you're running in a distributed environment. And there's a lot of people when they first get into this kind of environment, like with uh, say a microservice environment, they're, they still think as if they're building uh, a single code base, a single program, a single monolith. And the reality is that we're running in a distributed environment. And this is where things like Akka really shines because Akka is 10 years old now. And for a good portion of those 10 years, the engineers and the contributors have been, have, have, have been creating Akka have been thinking about and hardening and building and adding features to Akka where we're running actor systems in a distributed environment. And there's so many incredible patterns and ways that you can build a system that runs in a, you know, a cloud native distributed environment using Akka. This is Akka's playground. You know, Akka is built to have actors that are running not in a single JVM, but in multiple JVMs that are collaborating with each other over the network. And the abstraction layer that Akka provides really lifts us up into 
the realm of we're only thinking about how do individual actors interact with each other in a distributed environment. And there's just things like, for example, you know, people when they first hear about messaging in ACA is at most once delivery. And that gives pause, you know, it gives concern because it's like, well, wait a minute, I want messages that are always delivered or I want messages that are delivered exactly once. Well, those things are hard to do in a distributed environment. These are hard lessons that developers have to learn. But the reality is that even with the the least powerful or the least, you know, there's there's three patterns of messaging in a distributed environment. And the, the least powerful one is at most once delivery. But this is a solvable problem. You can you can build systems that can handle this in a distributed environment, a cloud native environment using Akka. And the other part is that Akka gives you the, the fine grain control. The, you know, the typically again, people when they approach dis distributed systems and distributed messaging and so on, they're kind of looking at it at a coarse grain level, microservice levels is, is coarse grain compared to actors, which are very, very fine grained things. They're, you know, they're very, very small. You know, the actor systems are running in a distributed environment. We're typically talking about tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands or even millions of actors. We run instances of actors communicating with, with each other happily in a distributed environment. And I'll, I'll wrap up with, I've got a, a, a demo app that I've been showing people where there's a visualization that shows actors and how they react to nodes leaving and joining the cluster, JVMs shutting down and starting up, and how it Aka actors react to that. And it's just incredible how um, how the technology works there. It's just it it's built to run in a cloud native environment. Yeah, you know, Aka is.